MTHFR, methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency disease. That's what it stands for. What a mouthful. But it's a common name that people give these vague vitamin deficiencies, a genetic SNP or error that's been passed down through the generations to you. And, and people are starting to figure this out. It causes problems, it causes a lot of fatigue, it causes weight gain, all, all this kind of stuff. If you don't know it's there, you can definitely optimize your life by figuring out how to treat it. The problem is MTHFR causes several specific intracellular vitamin deficiencies. How do I know this? I've done intracellular testing on almost um, 10,000 people in my practice over the years. Out of 10,000 people, uh, here in Utah, at least 85% had MTHFR, and there's a very specific pattern that shows up. You usually have a B, if you're assuming you're not on any vitamins, if you're on vitamins, they'll skew the data and kind of kind of cloud the water a little. But if you're not on vitamins, we call it a virgin um, CMA test, or virgin intracellular vitamin mineral amino acid test. And this testing is incredibly accurate. It reflects what's going on genetically with you. So MTHFR causes a B12, a folate, a B6, a serine, a glutamine, an inositol deficiency. I see those four, five, six vitamin deficiencies all the time. And people are like, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I can't even function. It's the uh, inability to make proper ATP. Most humans, when you convert a carbohydrate into energy, we can't use it directly. That's why we have insulin and all that. It converts it to ATP, the energy coin of our realm. Well, ATP is unleaded gasoline, while carbohydrates are like crude oil. So we're converting crude oil into unleaded gasoline. And so you want to create 32 ATP per molecule of carbohydrate. But most of us can't do that because of vitamin deficiencies or genetic SNPs like MTHFR. So we can't do it. But with a good methylation support product like our our empty to our daily we just came out with and we've done huddle that's the third iteration of our baseline methylation support product it can help you convert more carbohydrate to atp so you have more energy